Oh, All right, so we're here getting ready to start our hike. It's supposed to be cold, but we're very excited. It'll be fun. We're gonna do a mouse trail, mouse tail, mouse trail, mouse tail, and we're getting ready to hit the trails. So we're a little over a mile in already. Uh, we hit the trail at, I guess, what is it? 12.20. Like, it was like 12.20, I think we hit the trail. Yeah, Something like that, 12.20. So we, it is a little bit ago we did a mile in already. We're just gonna do, I think it's four and a half miles today. And then about three and a half in the morning. But yeah, that's, going mm -hmm. strong downhill no. so, oh, it's flat. you're on the side of the hill here right yeah. as you if you look to your right and left you can see how the hill curves away the, the, the hill goes away from your vision you can't see it because it goes down as they're called draws okay? draws and spurs there's no difference in, there's a little difference in between them all right guys so we are officially about halfway through we started the track at like 12.20, I think it's when we officially hit the trail. And then it is now two, it's about 1.50 and we're about halfway done for the day. This is the first shelter. This is about 10, 11 years ago, I guess. Me and Hubby came out here with some friends and this is where we stayed at because it was that overlook. And had some friends of ours stayed in the shelter. And then we camped in a tent, but we're officially about halfway done for today's hike. It's only gonna be gonna be a little bit shorter than what we did at Nathan Bedford with only eight miles total, but we're gonna take our packs off and kind of just enjoy this beautiful view for a little bit. All right guys, so you can definitely tell it is a lot windier up here. As you can probably hear it through the video too. <clears throat> just up here off that river. But thankfully, that's not really the shelter we plan on setting up tonight. Although, that one you can, I don't know if you can see up there, like on this smokestack. But they do have like a little wood burning stove in there, which is really nice. So, we're hoping that at the other shelter that we plan on staying at tonight, it'll be the same. Or if it's just because this one's right off the river that it's going to because it's a lot colder. But I even just climbing up to get to the shelter, it's so much colder than what it was before just for that so uh, I don't think there's I don't know we can try to see I don't think there's many I've never found no geocaches in Tennessee state parks but never know yeah, so we see we see the cabin for the shelter area where we're going to stop at for the night. Um, this quite a quite a little trek up. That's for sure. More so than the second one. Let's see, we hit the trail at what 12, 12 20, and it's now 3 40. All right. Yeah. 4 4. About four and a half miles, so that gives us plenty of daylight still, plenty of daylight to go get our water that we need. And it's really nice that we didn't know it, but these shelters actually have like a little wood burning stove in them, which is really nice because we are, I mean, there's no we're supposed to get like an inch or two of snow. Um, possibly now it's only supposed to snow for like an hour or so, and then it's done. Do it. Huh? Know. Never know. But we're gonna go up here and start. Oh, <laughs> we're gonna go up here and cut our way up through the shelter and make camp for the night and take off the packs. 
get ready to get water and all that good stuff. So, my camp. Was we gonna use that heat blanket thing? Is she gonna do something with that? Or not? Okay, I'm just gonna see what it. Okay. All right, good morning, guys. It is right at six o'clock, so we're already up and moving. Um, and we're about to get off. I forgot to do these warm bundles. Oh. As you can see, it snowed last night. I think we got about an inch of snow, something like that. So, I think we all got a fair amount of enough to sleep. Thankfully, we was able to keep the fire going all night. So, that was good. But now it's time to get up, eat some breakfast and hit the trail so that way we don't thankfully the hard part of the trail was done yesterday so we don't have much today we can easily still see the trail and markers and all today. so let's do it Ready to hit the trail, bud? Ready to hit the snowy trail? <laughs> all right, we're all packed up. Within an hour, we got packed up. Um, I don't know, it's hard to tell, but the sun's starting to come up a little bit more. You can hear the wind a little bit, but I think it has died off a little bit. So, all right, let's do it. As you can see, I have like three heads on. We're all nice and bundled up. You can see here. We got some snow, but thankfully the wind has stopped and the sun has come out. So we're getting ready about to hit the trail. I know you really didn't even take time to eat breakfast because we're all just kind of cold and ready to go. Moving out, daddy's leading the way and pulling him along a little faster. I'm pushing us a little more and we're gonna get there. Oh, good stuff. But So, how far have we gone, babe? Um, today? Yes, today. What, two, two and a half miles, Two and a half miles, and it's, what time is it? 8.30. Oh, I left your watch in my sleeping bag. 8.30. So, about an hour and a half, and we've gone a little over two miles already. You can see this pretty little creek. Good. It's good. We're just kind of taking a little breather, enjoying the... As much as I love to go creek stomping, I don't care to go in it today. So, yeah. Are you, are you recording? So we have, you can see the cart over there. 
covered in snow. So we have made it back. We have officially made it out. So, so, that took us how long this morning, babe? What? How many? Almost two hours. Almost two hours to do two and a Three half. Miles. Three miles. Okay, not too bad. Yeah, I stepped in a hole earlier. So. Stepped off at right before seven. We're right at to like seven on the dot almost. It's 8.45 now. Not too bad. Thankfully, there has been very little wind. Very, very little hey, wind. Yeah, let's say it goes this way. There's been very little wind. It's been nice and sunny. It's just powdered snow. There was no no ice under it or anything like that. No, I hear it is. Yeah. I thought Nick was making a beeline for the car and he wasn't on the trail. Yeah. Oh, whoops, there goes my back. Oh, well. <laughs> but, all right, so, so if you're wanting to do a um, hike where it may be colder, overnight. and you're in the, an overnight hike like that where it may be colder, then definitely give mouse tail look because both of their shelters have a wood burning fire fireplace stove in it and that has really helped make sure you stomp off your feet bub and that has that really helped us last night being able to keep the fire going and gather enough firewood beforehand and yeah y'all we we've done it we've done our other hike was in april it was a little after easter last year and we did one around memorial day and then now this one we've done in mid-March and we went from about a 60 degree day to about a about a 20 degree morning so we made it there y'all